Okay. Hello there. My name is Bafo Narabi, a final year civil engineering student at the University of Cape Town in South Africa. Today I will demonstrate to you how the equilibrium water competition works. The aim of the competition is to distribute water from one point into equally into three different output points along the network. Now I will run you through some of the equipment used in the equilibrium water competition. This equipment can be purchased from your local hardware store or an aquarium shop. For starters, you will need a source from where you gain your water from in the form of a bucket. Next, you will need an elevated reservoir standing on a stand above the network. From this reservoir, you will need a pipe that will lead into the starting point of the network. You will need three buckets, which will stand at the three different output, output points along the network. Now, it is very important for you to have a valve to close off your reservoir at the beginning of the network. This you can simply obtain by bending the pipe and clamping it together using a crocodile clamp. There are several pipes that can be used in the network. The first pipe is a 3 mm diameter plastic pipe. Then we have a slightly larger 6 mm diameter plastic pipe. We have a shorter version of the 6 mm diameter pipe which will be used to connect the network through to the buckets at the various output points of the network. We have a number of connections which will be used to connect these pipes in the network. We have a straight connection, an elbow connection, a T connection and a cross connection. Now these connections fit smoothly into the 3 mm diameter pipe, like this. Now this causes a nice watertight connection at the various joints. However, this is not the case for the larger 6 mm di diameter pipe. In this instance, you will need to attach an adapter. This adapter can be obtained from purchasing a larger, a long 3 mm diameter flexible plastic pipe and cutting it into small pieces, such as this one over here. You simply insert the piece over the connection and then insert the 6 mm diameter pipe over that. And that creates a nice watertight connection at the joint. Lastly, you will need a measuring flask of sorts to measure the water collected in the various output points of your network. I will proceed to demonstrate to you how to build the network. The network consists of 16 nodes joined together by straight lines. The judges of the competition will select three nodes on the grid at which you will insert your buckets for the respective output points. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will randomly select node number 7, 9 and 15 as our output points. The buckets are further connected using the short 6 mm diameter pipe to the respective nodes. To begin the construction of the network, we'll start by connecting the reservoir at node number 1. The pipes are from then connected along the straight lines from node to node. 
I've got all my pipes stacked up over here, as well as my connections and the respective adapted joints. And from there, I'm basically good to go. So I'll start here at node number one, insert my T piece, have an adapter, connect that over there, make sure that's nice and watertight. From there, connect one pipe along from node one to five. And another one from node one to two. And from there I will carry on with my network, connection by connection. Now that we've got our, our network all built up, we have to run through a number of checks. First of all, we check that our buckets are located at our nodes as previously mentioned. So outlet buckets connected at node number 7, 9, and 15 to the network. Secondly, we check that our reservoir is connected at node number 1. We we'll also have to check the amount of vacant lines on the grid. In this competition, you ought not to have more than 8 vacant lines. Let's have a count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's below 8, so we're good in that sense. Lastly, we check that all the pipes at the various nodes are all connected to each other, such as this connection over here. So run through, check the individual connections. And that's good. From here, we're ready to run our network. But before we do so, we have to release the air out of the network, as air can possibly interfere with the flow of water. Now to take the air out of the system, we simply add some water into our reservoir, like this, ensure that the outlet pipe fills up. Once it's sufficiently filled, we can release our valve, point number one, and allow the water into the network. From there, we proceed to flick the sections of the pipe where air bubbles exist. Like this. You may also gently squeeze the pipe to allow the water to flow. Once you're happy with the system and all the air is released from the pipes, you proceed to close the valve from your reservoir. And now, we will empty the respective outlet buckets into our source bucket. From node number 7, connect that back in. Node number 9, Lastly, from node number 15. Now we're ready to run our network. The idea is to get exactly 3 liters of water through the network. How this will be done is that the water level will be marked the current water level will be marked at the reservoir bucket. The use of a coke pen. From there, we we'll proceed.
to measure exactly three liters of water with our measuring cylinder. Put that into the reservoir. That's two liters. Need one more liter. There we go. Put that into the reservoir bucket. From there, everything is set and we're ready to run our network. You release the clamp, make sure the pipe is nice and round to allow the flow to go through. And from there, we will wait until the watermark reaches the initial level. And from there we will ensure that exactly three liters of water has run through the system. So at this point, you stand back and you're not allowed to do any further alterations to your network. Now we wait as the reservoir approaches the line. The initial one. Wait. There we go. There we clamp it. So now exactly three liters of water has run through our system. From here, we proceed to calculate our penalty points. So the aim of the competition is to get one meter in each of these three outlet reservoirs. So now we'll proceed to measure the actual amount of water we've collected after running our network. And from there, penalty points will be added. The way the penalty points work is that we first start by marking down our respective nodes. So we've got node number seven, node number 9 and node number 15. We'll measure the volume in each of those three outlet reservoirs and our penalty points marked as PP on the board. Our penalty points are basically measured by every millimeter, milliliter of water that is, is off the 1,000 milliliters of water that we're expecting in each of these buckets. So let's start off by measuring from outlet point number seven. Now, according to my measurement, We've got 850 milliliters. So note number seven, 850 milliliters. So the penalty point should be 1,000 milliliters minus 850, which is 150 penalty points. Now we can empty that back into our bucket and we measure the amount of water collected in node number 9. From node number 9 we've got 1,100 milliliters. So the penalty points in this case would be 1,100 minus 1,000 milliliters that we were expecting. So that gives you 100 penalty points. So lastly, we'll take the water collected in node number 15.
measure it. And from there, find 950 milliliters. 1000 minus 950 gives us 50 penalty points. We add our penalty points. We have a total of 150 plus 100 plus 50 gives us 300 penalty points. The aim of the competition is to get as the lowest amount of penalty points. Ideally, you'd want to have zero penalty points. We can also have a look at the volumes collected in each of the buckets. And if my mathematics serves me right, should be 900, 2,900 milliliters, which is 100 milliliters of the 3,000 milliliters we expected to, to run through the system. Now if we had got this closer to 3,000, perhaps our penalty points would have, been, would have been much less. So the aim of the competition is also to make sure that we have only allowed an exact amount of 3,000 milliliters throughout the network. Okay. So that is how the equilibrium competition works. Feel free to log on to our website at www.equilibriumcompetition.net for more information. Join our Facebook group as well to keep up to date with the equilibrium activities around your area. Happy network building.